Here are the changes in Eliza version 2.5. In the file menu, you can now load pre-configured loudspeaker templates ranging from Eliza configurations to standard Dolby Atmos loudspeaker formats. On the left-hand side, you will find that we have redesigned the icons for the drawer lists. They have been resized and provide more screen real estate. On the right-hand side, we have repositioned the levels drawer for control of the master and reverb faders. Each fader also has their own mute button. When you're in live on-air mode, you cannot accidentally mute a fader. However, if a fader is already muted and you enter live on-air mode, you can unmute it. There is a monitoring tab for the binaural output. And there is a new user tab that features two user-assignable faders that can control down mixes, aux send, or custom routings that you have defined in the settings page. There are no changes in the sources, groups, or snapshot pages. On the reverbs page, the master and reverb faders retain their position to match the soundscape page. Let's dive into the settings. On the speakers tab, you now have the ability to duplicate multiple speakers, individually or in groups. These speakers are copied with the same positional data as their originals. You can also mute and unmute specific speakers from spatial audio processing with the buttons found at the bottom of the speakers tab. This is represented with a blue outline of each speaker when it is muted. In the soundscape, the deactivated speakers show an area that is grayed out. The advantage of doing it this way allows for objects to still be snapped to these locations. For instance, the venue may have more loudspeakers than the pre-production space. These loudspeakers can simply be deactivated. When you are back at the venue, you can now simply reactivate these speakers. On the routing tab, we have new functionality for how you want to control your direct routes. On each direct route, you can assign the fader that controls the output level. None, master, monitoring, and the two user assignable faders. Each direct route can be individually trimmed, either by typing in specific values, incremental changes with the plus or minus buttons, or by clicking the edit button that gives both absolute and relative offsets. Each of the user assignable faders can be renamed, for example, subs, and they have their own behaviors, independent for a direct pass-through, post-master, or post-monitoring. The names of these faders will be represented in the Soundscape page. That concludes the updates and changes to Eliza version 2.5.